getting ready for this final weekend of Illini hockey here at home. And it's senior weekend for all the boys in blue and orange who will be heading on to bigger and brighter things after this weekend concludes. Tonight's game is between your fighting Illini and the Eastern Michigan University Eagles who hail from Division I, but with a subpar Division I record. I'm Dylan Gusmano, joined by Drew Curtis. Justin Goldberg will be with us in just a moment. Drew, let's talk a little bit about tonight's matchup. The Illini coming in as heavy favorites in this game. It doesn't really count towards the standings. What do you suspect is going to be the outcome here tonight? Well, I ultimately hope that the Illini will come out with a victory, and I think uh, if you were to take a look at this matchup on paper, that would be the conclusion that most uh, people would come to. But that just because they match up better on paper does not mean they will match up better on ice. It's easy to take teams like Eastern Michigan for granted if you're the Illini. You got to come out firing, get ahead early, and make sure you put them away. Indeed you do. We saw the Illini play last weekend in the CSCHL Conference Tournament, which was here at the Big Pond. If you were listening into those games, you know the result of the Illini's run in that tournament. They finished in the semifinals with a loss to Ohio. And uh, I guess a few of you probably don't know who the winners of that tournament was. That was Lindenwood who ended up winning it all, beating Ohio 3-2 to in the final game. Drew, a, a good weekend for the Illini last one, but they have to come out tonight and forget all about their loss and make sure they continue to play hard as this, this is their last tune-up heading into the ACHA National Tournament. Yeah, partner, you mentioned it. A good, a good start to last weekend's games. They had a great four periods of hockey, the first three against Iowa State and the first one against Ohio. And after that, it seemed like the wheels kind of came off. They let up five unanswered goals, uh, and really the momentum was shifting away from the Illini. So this tune-up weekend, if you will, for the Illini has got to be one in which they gain back some of that team momentum moving forward towards that tournament looming just a weekend away. Well, this should be an interesting matchup for the Illini as they play Eastern Michigan. That has become a common matchup for them at the end of the season. They finished last year and the year before that with a tune-up against the very same Eastern Michigan Eagles tonight, that third weekend or that third year in a row with the season finale against this club. So it should be an interesting one between these two teams. They're familiar with each other, but we've seen a lot of wins for the Illini and zero for the Michigan Eagles and their three weekends here at the Big Pond. Certainly seems like a one-sided matchup, and Coach Fabrini knows that as well, which is why he's changed up his lines a little bit, got some new faces out there, given some of his seniors who don't see a lot of playing time, perhaps a little more time on some higher lines, and uh, able to change things up, try out some new things uh, in order to maybe come, in, come to the tournament with a couple of new looks. Well, Drew, why don't you go ahead and get to those lineups as the Illini come marching out onto the ice for the first time this evening. Well, starting in goal tonight for the Eastern Michigan University Eagles is going to be number 30. That is uh, Ryan Barrett. He is a young freshman goaltender standing at 5'10". 170 pounds will give you his stats momentarily. Starting at D, number 22, Tyler Cates, uh, as well as number 23, Tony Gasser. And your three forwards for the Eagles, James Paplinski, Anthony Stankovic, and Corey Sanowski. And just a quick note on the Eastern Michigan lineup, number 12, John Fark is their top scorer, is not in the lineup tonight. He is a very notable scratch for the Eastern Michigan Eagles, so a lot of that scoring that we anticipate from that side will be coming from, like you said, their starting senior forward, Anthony Stankovic. On the other side of the ice for your fighting Illini, starting in goal tonight, number 30, Zachary Donna getting his uh, second start of the year, and not playing in, uh, behind him will be Zev Grumet Morris, the backup tonight. On the defensive pairing for the Illini, number eight, Robert Kokoschka making his return, as well as number 21, Ostro Okuno, getting the knot as he will be playing in tonight's game. And the forward line centering up for the Illini is the senior forward, number 12, John Langan. His left winger, number nine, Jacob Matisiak, also a senior. And at right wing, the senior, Mario Pacheco, playing this weekend to a crowd that will be cheering for him as they know that he's given all that he's got over the last four years at the Big Pond. Yeah, he's one of those role players that we talk about so often, partner. He doesn't see every game, but when he's out there, he makes sure his presence is known, and he makes a difference on the ice for the line, and he brings a very physical, scrappy game, which serves the Illini well and has served them well the past four years. You know, Drew, senior weekend's a lot of fun, as Coach Fabrini, like you mentioned, is going to throw a lot of seniors into the lineup to try to get them some more uh, to playing time and to highlight their performances here over the last four years. Some of these guys maybe even played longer than that or shorter. But the Illini obviously will try to get as many of those guys out here 
for their friends, their families, their parents, anybody who will be watching them this weekend. And Mario Pacheco is just one of those unsung heroes uh, that will be getting the nod tonight. Let's talk a little bit about John Langan as well, Drew. Uh, he'll be playing centerman tonight. He's worn that A for quite some time. What a career he's had at the Big Pond. And a lot in place of John Olin, who was overseas for the last two weeks uh, prior to last when he was playing for the USA national team. Well, John Langan is a true leader on this squad, partner. He wears that A for a reason. Uh, Coach Fabrini sees it out on the ice, off the ice, at practices, during the games, on the bench. Uh, he leads this team in his actions and his words, and he uh, has been a great uh, help to what the Illini have been able to do the past four years. Uh, and there's no doubt in my mind that we will see him get out on the ice a lot both today and tomorrow. Yeah, John, not uh, as many points as we're accustomed to seeing him this season. He's only got 11 on the year, but those of those 11, he's got eight goals, and then the rest will be assists. But he's been out there, really a physical force, and really a leadership role for Langan has been his biggest part for the Illini. As he's been really insistent on making sure that the disciplinary problems that the Illini had earlier on in this season uh, were to be eradicated going forward into the second semester. And we've seen plenty of improvement from that so far this year. We've got the national anthem coming up for you here at the Big Pond. We'll send it down to ice level to grab that for you. Both sides eager to get started in this game as it seemed like everybody wanted to get to center ice to play uh, tonight's game. We've got a good crowd here on hand, Drew, for senior night. It's going to be an exciting weekend to highlight, like we said, some of the great play of some of these players for the last four years. It should be a fun one. I'm really looking forward to it, partner. I know you are as well as, the, as well as the rest of the crew. Justin down there in the box, he's jumping up and down. I'm not sure if that's because he's cold or if he's just that excited. Well, we can see a photographer down there in the penalty box. Drew is all bundled up. Uh, Justin not quite as uh, well-dressed, so maybe he is just a little chilly. Always a good thing to have the gloves down there, Justin. I don't see him on him tonight. He's going barehanded. He wants to uh, be wild. Well, we're getting set for puck drop here to begin the game. The Illini going from right to left to begin this first period. The draw won by Eastern Michigan and promptly dumped on in. Back behind the Illini net, it's picked up by the defense. Played on, rung around, out to center ice by Robert Kokoschka. He'll play it through center now, passed in by Okuno. Dumps one on net, ricochet back by the goaltender, Barron. The rebound careens all the way out to center ice where Eastern Michigan picks it up. Taken on in by their senior forward, number 19, James Peplinski. Peplinski skates on in, loses control as he heads towards the net. Picked up here again. Here's another opportunity from Fausho. Fausho tries to stuff one on net. An easy save there for Zachary Donna. Well, probably the easiest one that Donna will make all night, partner. That puck just simply came 
rolling right into his breadbasket, never even left the ice. Very easy save. Well, that was off the stick of Ryan Fausho, who is always a perennial threat to score for Eastern Michigan. He is their highest point scorer. And it will be in the lineup tonight. The Illini win the draw and carry the other way. Here comes Pukshank into the offensive zone. Trying to throw it towards the crease. Went past a couple of defenders. Lozenak was able to recover in the high slot. Took a shot and went wide. Picked up here along the far side. Hapboards trying to chip it in is Dusak. He's unable to do it and it's carried on out by Fausho. Taking a shot here from the red line. Right into the breadbasket again for Zachary Donna. And Donna like that has two easy saves to begin tonight's game. So a lot of room out there on the ice, partner, for both sides. It seems like uh, both teams laying off the physicality, at least early in this game. Not a lot of stick-on-stick -stick defending. Really a lot of space to skate out there. The Illini win the draw in their defensive zone. Clock quickly throw it down the length of the ice. This one will cross all the lines, and it'll be deemed an icing call, so we'll do it all over again from that same dot. This time, the Illini will be forced not to change. Just over a minute gone here in the first period. Well, we promised you the stats of Ryan Barron, and here they are coming in tonight with a record of one and three, a goals against average of almost six and a half, and a save percentage of 83-2. Another face-off won by the Illini, cleared on out to center. Taken by Sonneson into the offensive zone, he goes. Along the left wing, shooting one right on net. Blockered away and picked up by the defense, cleared on out to center ice. Chasing it back with the Illini. Chris Lozniak, the first to get there. He picks it up and dumps it back into his own end. We're going to work as Nunez. Nunez passes it back to Dusek. Dusek on over. Picked up here by Flossie. Sent on ahead. Sonneson plays it off his stick and into the offensive zone. Trying to throw one towards the crease. He lost control of it as he headed towards the red line. Picked up here by the Illini in their offensive zone. Lozniak with a wraparound attempt. Stuffed on net. Blockered away. But Illini in the net. That was Chris Sonneson. He gets out. As the puck gets out of the zone as well. Cleared on ahead by Eastern Michigan. Carried by Ryan Fausho. Into the offensive zone he comes. Threw one across. Nobody home at center. Picked up by the Illini and cleared on out to center ice. That was courtesy of Baker. He throws it down into the defensive zone. James Petwinski will recover for the Eagles. Played on back behind the Eastern Michigan net. Carried here by Tony Gasser. Gasser trying to clear. Getting it to Fausho. He got tipped away there by Seanick Powell. Finally cleared on out to center where Olin will dump it in. John Olin on his first shift of the evening for the Illini. Played on back behind their net. Cleared on and now out to center by Fausho. Picked up by Olin. Olin skates it on in, loses it as he crosses the blue line. Eastern Michigan trying to play conservatively on the defensive side of things. Here's a quick pass down the length. That one will go all the way for icing. Well, Drew, you mentioned about a minute into this game the lack of physicality that's held up so far, but that could all change with one hit. If somebody gets sent to the ice, these two teams could all of a sudden remember that they don't actually like each other very much. Well, you're right, Justin. We had talked about it. These two teams don't play in the same conference, but they have played each other over the last three seasons, each of those years. They've developed some sort of dislike for each other. We'll see if that can boil into anything in the physical side of things as we continue on in this game. Eastern Michigan wins the draw, clears it out to center. They have to take it back in the defensive zone to get some room. Played on back across to Fausho, who's playing everywhere so far tonight, as he's the point man right now. Here's an interception. Oh, nearly an opportunity for the Illini. Couldn't handle it, though, and it's taken away by Eastern Michigan. Into the offensive zone they come. Here come the Eagles. A shot fluttered on net, goes wide. That was courtesy of number 19, Pavlinski. The clearance attempt by the Illini is good on the secondary attempt. Flossie will carry it on out and into the offensive zone. Skating hard and trying to get around a defender. He's able to force it to Belmont. Belmont tried to send it on in. Couldn't do it. The puck ricochets into the far side corner. Where number 44, Eric Salters, is there. It sends it to Belmont, who gets pinned up hard against the boards. Loses possession, and it's ultimately cleared on out to center. Carrying along the right wing. Here's a big hit. That might instigate the physicality. Nunez is the one that gets that one. And he'll win the puck for himself. Sent ahead to Salters at center ice. He feeds one over to Laz or Langen, excuse me. Langen carries it on in. On the back end, switches to the forehand, shoots and Quick save made by Ryan Barron. Well, a good save there by Ryan Barron, but a much better, better power move by John Langen to get to the net. That right-handed shot, taking the puck up the left side, headed on his backhand. Power move to the net. A nice forehand shot, but a good save by Barron. So far for the Illini offense, focused on finesse, Drew, as we've seen a lot of power moves towards the crease, not a lot of passing, but right there is an example. The Illini lose the draw, intercepted by Eastern Michigan. Into the offensive zone they come, skating things into the corner. 
Intercepted by the Illini. Cleared on out to center. Mario Pacheco with the carriage. He dumps it in from the red line. No icing here. Played by Byron. Sent on around the backboards. Picked up by the Illini. Intercepted there by Langan. He couldn't handle it as he went towards the crease. Taken away by the defense. Cleared on out to center where Dusek will play for the blue and orange. Passing across. Okuno will carry. Into the offensive zone he comes. Skating towards that goal line. Now looking for a passing partner. Centers one through the crease. Matisiak's stick wasn't on the ice. It's taken away by the Eagles. Fluttered on in, courtesy of number 48, Luke Dimitro. His entry pass heads into the far side corner, where Okuno's there to win it for the Illini. Right on to Baker. Baker tries to clear. Intercepted at the blue line by the Eagles. A quick shot dumped on in, goes wide, and now the Illini will carry it out along the far side. Here comes Crookshank. Crookshank skating on in. Centers one. Oh, and a shot off the post. Here's a secondary shot that goes high off the glove. It's free out at center now, picked up by the captain, of the Eastern Michigan club and played on forward. Nice defensive play there by number 25, Jordan Romer. Into the offensive zone, the Eagles come. Dumped into the far side corner. Baker able to make the play to clear it. On over to Lozanak. Lozanak will carry behind his own net. Now skating forward, a lot of space. He's able to make the connection ahead to Sonneson. Sonneson passing one to Crookshank. Crookshank wanted to fire, then a second shot is good. But saved by Barron. You know, I think I would have liked to see Crookshank take that first opportunity, that one-timer, try to catch Barron off guard. Instead, he took a couple of deeks and had a wrist shot that Barron saw all the way. Still a good shot there from Crookshank, but true, I agree with you. He hesitated, and I don't think that helped him in that case, as the element of surprise and the speed of the puck off of a slapper might have been a better shot. The Illini can't win the draw. It's cleared on out to center, but promptly dumped back in by Robert Kokoschka. The defense here goes to work. They try to clear, but it's intercepted again by the Illini. A lot of offensive work here from the blue and orange. Grants to Ave with the possession of the puck. He passes to Seanick Powell, then back to the point for Caprio. Caprio back to Powell. Powell shoots one across, goes through the crease. Not on net, though. Ricochets out towards the right point. Dumped up by Kokoschka and dumped back in. Played on behind the backboards now, where Powell goes for it. On the half, half boards, intercepted by Olin. But then quickly stolen back by the Eagles. Dumped on in. Here's a drop pass for number 21, Linville. Linville shoots one. And a save made by Zach Donna. Well, we'd like to remind all our fans that you can reach us at any point during tonight's game. Go ahead and shoot us an email. You can reach us at IlliniHockey at IlliniMedia.com. Almost a chance there for an odd man rush for the Eagles, but a good back check by the Illini forwards to eliminate that opportunity. A good job by the Illini defense, like you said, Justin, to get back there. You're right, almost a three-on-two for Eastern Michigan, but it was nixed out by a very aggressive back check. Eastern Michigan wins the draw in the offensive zone. They try to send it into the corner for get some working room, but the Illini take it away. Into the offensive zone they come. Here's a drop pass looking for Nunez. It was a little off the mark. Flossie will have to readjust his accuracy. Secondary attempt is held in by the Illini, dumped in further behind the net, picked up here by the defense. Eastern Michigan will clear it on out to center ice. Right off the stick of Sosnowski. Sosnowski dumps it in. Picked up by Nunez. Illini will recover possession. Here's a pass looking for Belmont. Tipped up high in the air. Recovered by Flossie. He'll skate in with it along the far side. Looking for a shot. He throws one on net. It was a low one. Rebound. Belmont shoots, but it's blocked it away. Picked up by the defense and clear. Out to center. Intercepted by the Illini again. Dusek will carry it on in. He gets forced in. Offside as Flossie couldn't tag up in time. Stoppage here, no score. 12.53 to go in the first. You know, Joe, some different numbers in the lineup, some new faces. Coach Fabrini's throwing out a few different lines every so often here, but one line that he has kept consistent tonight is that Salters Belmont Flossie line. One of the lines that I think is hottest right now for the Illini. Indeed, they were a big part of that victory against uh, Iowa State last weekend. And winning that game-winning goal, courtesy of Matt Flossie. Taken into the offensive zone. Eastern Michigan with a shot right in front. Point blank saved by Zach Donna. The puck is still free, and the defense will clear. Matisiak will carry and go into the offensive zone. Onside, passing to Belmont. And then here's another opportunity in front. Pacheco couldn't handle it. Back to the point. Langan shooting from there. On net. Rebound out in front. Kicked away. And a second save made by Barron. Finally cleared out to center ice as the attack from both sides now starting to heat up. Dumped on in, nothing doing, taken back out to center ice. Pacheco will carry and dump it in again. The Illini forwards going for a change. Crookshank out there, the only Illini skating right now. 
Picked up here by Eastern Michigan. Carried by Ryan Fauscio into the offensive zone. Trying to settle it down. Trying to make a toe drag as well. 